In this quick video guide, we're going to see how we can create a terrain in Blender using Blender G's or Blender G's uh, or GIS, depending on how you want to pronounce it. And it's going to create a terrain. You can see now it's rendering the terrain using cycles. So I'm just going to switch rapidly in wireframe mode. And also here we have the geometry node. So you can see it's um, Google um, satellite image with also the height map for the terrain. And we also have all the buildings uh, representation uh, with the standard and simple solids. So let's see how we can do all of that. I'm going to start all over. So I'm just going to close Blender here. First of all, we need uh, an add-on that we need to install in Blender. Of course, you need to use Blender. So you need to download and install Blender. If you don't know how to use Blender, you can check other video courses and video guides in the channel. So I'm going to look for Blender GIS on Google. So you can find the add-on right here. Now, GIS stands for Geographic Information System. And it's basically a model with information on the, on the top surface, on the geographic elements, which could be the landscape, the, the terrain, the territory, buildings, uh, roads, and many other information. So this is, if you want, you can uh, look for more information on the web. So if you click here, you're going to go in the GitHub page where you can get the add-on. So all you need to do is go here and click on this uh, release right here. So I'm just going to open it up in another page, which is this one here. So you will see something like that. The, the version could change depending on the updates. So this is where you need to click to download the zip file. Now the zip file is going to go, once you click here, it's going to go in your download folder as usual, if you know uh, how to use Blender and you use it um, properly. And um, it's really simple. So I'm going to continue with that in just a second. I just want to show you here in the GitHub page some extra sources that can be really helpful. So if you go down here, you have a quick start guide. If you're having troubles, you can also follow this guide. And there are also here some animations showing you how to, to work with the tool. And also another thing you may want to have a look at is the flowchart, which is kind of a little bit more technical and it goes into more in-depth. And uh, so this is the release. This is the quick start information. And um, so how, it, how you can use the tool. And here you have the flowchart. But we're going to jump into action right now and we're going to do it together here in Blender. So first thing, I want to get rid of the standard objects that we have in Blender when I create a new scene. So I have a completely empty space I can work with. And then uh, you can see the add-on right now. It's already downloaded, installed, and activated. You can see it right here. But if you don't see it or if you didn't do anything yet, well, it's really simple. You need to go to Edit Preferences and go here to the Add-ons sections and go to Install. So click on the Install button, navigate into your Downloads folder, and you can see here I download it right here. So it, I've already installed it, but I can do it again. So I, I select it and say Install Add-on. This will install it in your system in, in Blender. And if it doesn't appear automatically, you, you can just search here for GIS or GIS or GIS. I, I don't really know the exact pronunciation of that, but well, it's definitely GIS. And you can see I've already activated. So you, all you need to do is click on this little checkbox and make sure it's, the, it's marked and it's on. So this is going to activate it. And also here you have some settings and information um, that you can check. So let's close now the, the Blender preferences. And now this one here should be visible. And if you go here, you can see there are many options. You can also go back to the preferences. And you have the possibility to import in many ways or in many formats. You can also import like um, geo referenced images and open street maps and other stuff that is available on the web. And you can also export if you want in SHP. And there are also like other tools with mesh objects and other stuff. Now let's get to the the, the fun thing, which is the web geodata option. So if you click there, it's going to open up these three options. And we will start with these um, base map. So base map is the base uh, sat satellite image that we're going to use. You can select a source. So it could be Google, could be another one. So let's go for Google. And 
Here you can decide if you want to look at the map or the actual um, photograph, like the satellite photograph. So I'm going to use satellite and that's it. I don't, I don't want to touch anything else. And there you go. So we have the entire world right here. So we can pick a location. I'm uh, using the scroll wheel to zoom and I'm using this aim right here, the 3D cursor as I aim and also the origin of the epsilon and x axis in Blender. So if you scroll your scroll wheel back and forward, you can zoom in and out. And if you click with the left mouse, you can pan. So you can move vertically or horizontally or uh, oblique. And basically you, you, you can just uh, get closer and closer in the location that you want. You can see that these are really highly detailed images. And uh, first, the first time when you zoom, they, they will appear like pixelated. But if you wait, you can see that here, they, they, the information are being downloaded. So you, you just need to wait in order to see them in high quality. So move back and forth if you want. So these are like the Alps. Could be really interesting to, to see with the height map. So pick a location, whatever you want. Could be a lake, could be something. Well, if you want something really specific, you can type the G, which stands for ge geolocation. So here you can define a precise location. So let's say that I want to go to Rome. So I, I will type Rome and say, OK. And also you can change the zoom level. You can see this was really far away. So let's press G because this is the zoom level we are right now. It's 8. So let's make it like 14 or let, let's make it like 12. And again, let's type Rome. So now we are much closer and uh, we can see the, 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 the Rome area right here. So again, I can then change it if I change my mind. Now you can use these um, different methods if you want to find a location. I, I want to go here in this lake between the mountains. I think it's a really interesting part. Now the the further you are away, the, the more buildings and the information you're going to get. So try not to be too extreme. Try to like pick a location that is not too big so that it doesn't like crashes or, or do something like that. Now you can also press the B, which is going to activate uh, a region selection. So let's say that I want to be more specific. I want to have this area right here. So you can see it zoomed in this part. This is the representation right now we are using. Now, if I press uh, the E key, it's going to extract. So it's going to extract the portion that I have selected with the selection. Now, you've, you can press the scroll wheel. If you press the scroll wheel, it's going to orbit around. And we can definitely see that this is a flat image right now. It's not a 3D um, representation. It's just a 2D flat image. We can see here the, the icon of the mesh. But to make this 3D, we need to make another message. We need to go here again, go to Web Geodata, and select the the uh, well. We got we got the base map. The other information are right here. But before we get those, let's go to the elevation. So the height map, essentially the the height of the of the surface. Now you have different ways you can do this, and this one requires a API key. So if you don't have it, you need to, if you, if you say, okay, it's going to tell you to register to this website right here. And so you can get your API key. Otherwise, if you want to do this really fast, we can just select the um, marine geo org and let's uh, go for okay. And this is uh, the representation right here. And what we can do now is um, continue to import stuff. So we can go to the get OSM. And we can select building everything if we want. We hold shift to select everything. Now, uh, this one here will put those on the on the surface. Otherwise, they're going to go like in, in a flat way. So instead, you want them positioned like uh, on the various height of this uh, surface. And uh, you can also use building extrusions to represent the buildings as solids. And here you have default heights. You can change this if you want. And um, I think these are meters, but you can just check and do some tests. Everything looks fine if you leave it as it is. And you don't want to make this too heavy. So first of all, pick a small area, not a really big area. 
And then uh, try to not to separate objects that you keep these uh, off. But you can try uh, to turn it on if you have like a small area. But essentially, this is going to separate every object. And this is going to be heavier, as it's uh, said right here. So let's press OK. And let's wait. OK, yeah, it's telling me too large extent. So I need a smaller area. What I'm going to do is select and delete. Go back here. Go to Web Data. Again, use the base map. Same exact information. You can see it's um, bringing me here in the same exact location. So what I'm going to do here is press B again and get a smaller area. Perhaps let's pick only this one here, oh, maybe smaller. And so I'm going to get like this one here. Press E to extract. And I'm afraid, well, let's try and let's see what happens. So again, let's go to the get elevation. And again, get OSM, select everything, hold shift. Well, actually, I don't want to use something here. I want to use land use, leisure, uh, natural uh, railway. I'm going to keep it. Waterway, I don't want it. So really important thing, elevation from object. So you want this to be placed on the surface. So you want them to be elevated and placed on your Google Sat um, object here. So everything else should be fine. So let's press OK. And this could take seconds or minutes, depending on how many objects it will have to import. OK, so there you go. We have now the, the, the buildings. So you can see right here. And we can move around. We can see them in, in their position. And so this is, uh, this is it for this video guide. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe to the channel. Stay updated for our video guides. If you want to thank us, you want to support us, please join the channel as a supporter. So this will be all. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video guide.